Oh, it's time for some pie, and I love me some pie, guys. Oh, PC's Beer Review, PC's Beer Review, PC's Beer Review. Oh, guess what? Today's Friday the 10th, or no, Saturday the 10th, my bad. And it says, this is October, and next month is November. I think I've got a beer. Oh, 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 oh. That works for both this month and next month. Oh. So, let's see what we got in the cooler today. And I got another review. I got my brother Sean with me today. Well, this one, as you know, sometimes I do budget beers. And this is another one. And this one's called Pumpkin Pie. Hard right, cider. And, oh, that twist off. And, I got this one at all these. I've seen this as like, ooh, this might be interesting. And, which is all right with me. And we got some smoke off this boy. What's. Mmm, smell that cinnamon out here. Yeah. They know your bottle opener? Huh? Oh, no, they don't. They've seen me use it, but. What, what's don't... on it? Oh, hold on. You know, they know my, I'm a Michigan boy. And as you can see, it's like a little credit card. Got U of M on it, see? It's funny, it's funny he has that, because I have one of my own. It's not U of M, though. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's Lions. Unfor Lions. Unfortunately. But... As you can tell, we're a couple of homeboys. Support the home teams. And they're great, man. They fit right in your wallet. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, smelling that cinnamon off of this for sure, man. I think, I hope this ain't the, uh, <laughs> what's to be expected out of the drink. So, yeah, this one, like I've said, it's a budget beer, and you might recognize the name. Well, Naki, Wisconsin, Pumpkin Pie Heart Cider, and they've done other beers that you've seen me do on my show, such as Hopping Nomad IP8, or Rider Number 8, or uh, Bracketing Big Beer. And all these beers I got from Aldi's, and they're all from that one company that I just mentioned. So, they, I guess Aldi's uh, goes to three different companies. One in Wisconsin, one in Nevada, and one in New York. So, four that I've done have been from Wisconsin, and this is the fourth one. So, this one here has a 5.0 ABV and no IBU to speak of. And it's like a strawberry blonde, low carbonation to it by looking at it. And as you can see, the head disappeared out. Yeah, it's got a real strong cinnamon smell, almost like a big red type of thing to it from the smell of it. Yeah. So, uh,. Uh, you know, that's all I'm really getting off of this right now. Maybe it's just me, but uh, it smells like I'm getting a little, a little bit of pumpkin off of this, too. A little bit. But it's mostly cinnamon. Yeah. So. That's basically all I pick up is cinnamon. Yeah. But that one of the only two things we, or I'm picking up. Uh, so, let's get the taste to see what this bad boy tastes like. Okay, this is flat. Even with the carbonation, it's flat. Uh, it does, yeah, it does kind of taste like a pumpkin pie in a way. It's pumpkin and cinnamon. And uh, whatever it is that they use to make the crust with. I was about to say, you know what, yeah. It also, you know what else it reminds me of taste-wise? Mm -hmm. Like banana bread. It in a way, that's what the. But I guess that's crust. because. But yeah, but that, I guess it's, I guess if you think about it, it's like 
I never thought about how similar banana bread and like pumpkin crusts and stuff is. Yeah. Now I'll admit the pumpkin crust might go with well with the banana bread. Yeah, I kinda see that with the banana bread you got that cinnamon too. <coughs> so but yeah, I'm kinda picking up the pumpkin out of there, the cinnamon and the well, I guess the well, yeah, I gotta gotta agree with the banana no, bread type of thing. That's the type of vibe I'm getting off of this. But I do taste the pumpkin in this one too. But the one thing that gets me is, is that when I did that Pabst Blue Ribbon hard coffee, you can taste the whipped cream in that coffee. It's like if you go to Starbucks and they put the whipped cream on the top of the iced coffee or whatever. You could have tasted that in the hard coffee with Pabst Blue Ribbon. Now, as the picture shows, it shows whipped cream. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're going to get. So, but I was kind of expecting it, though, because it was on the packaging. So, I mean, A plus on the packaging in a way, but like a C minus for not having it in there. So, I mean. Maybe they just expect you to... They like take whipped cream and just like <laughs> put it in the bottle or make a float or in the beer mug. <laughs> Either yeah, way, yeah, like make it like a pumpkin pie beer float. Yeah, wow, well, I did that in a root beer float in the hard Big Brother's hard root beer one. I did. I did a float with uh, Moose Tracks ice cream. That's just how I roll. I like Moose Tracks, but either way, with that one. I forget the, what I gave it, but I think it was a 7. So it didn't add or take away from the root beer. The only thing that I hated about that root beer was it had too, a little bit too much uh, winter green in it. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, it did taste like root beer. So it's just one of those things. Now, I had somebody suggest to me if I had bourbon infused uh, ice cream and put it into the root beer, might have tasted better, which kind of leads into what you were saying. Now, if I would have done that with this, maybe, but we ain't got none of that on hand. So, mm, you're going to have to try that on your own. So, that leaves it up to you. And if you do, more power to you. And if it tastes good, let me know in the comments below, which reminds me, if you like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the icon button, or the icon bell for notifications, you get new content when I post it. I guarantee at least one video a week. So, uh, anyways, what are you thought? Are your thoughts on this beer here? I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, it's definitely got flavor to it. Yeah. It's like you were you were right because I think you took the first sip and you said like it's kind of it has this flat quality. Yeah. And it's kind of true. I don't know what exactly it is, but like, uh, yeah, it tastes flat. And I mean, you but can it, see. Ha it has a, it has a taste though. Yeah, but it also. But has, it doesn't. It doesn't have a punch to it. Yeah, but as you can see, it's got some carbonation to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got carbonation to it. I don't know what the heck's going on, but I don't like. I don't. I guess for me, it's like I don't know how much of it's even a bad thing. Well, to me, it, it just doesn't. It doesn't quite have that punch. Yeah, but of like beer. Yeah. Well, it's more of a cider, so maybe that's part of the reason they yeah, call it I mean, a cider. I don't, I don't have much experience with ciders. Yeah. So. But like, yeah, it's just <coughs> very like. But it's just kind of like straight to the flavor. Yeah. And you know, usually when I drink something, I usually expect like a little either I don't know like carb. Yeah, I guess carbonation. See, or like a like a real alcohol thing on the front end yeah when you take your sip or but at least the case, carbonation at first and then the taste yeah immediately well, but afterwards. you really get neither of them when you take yeah. like the the front end of this drink is just straight up that pumpkin the pumpkin pie just like boom and it's i wouldn't say it's great but it's i think it's all right yeah it, i don't like i i don't, I don't mind this I mean, having a bottle or two of this, like say on Thanksgiving, maybe, fine. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I forget what it's called, but it's um. 
God, it's like it's like this ginger. Oh, don't say ginger beer. Yeah, that ginger beer. But it's like it's like a much more drinkable version of that. Yeah, and it has actual alcohol in this. So this is a what I say a five pointer. There's probably there's people out there who know exactly what we're talking about because there's this ginger beer. I know I had gives, it. I have had it once. I've literally had it given to me for free. Yeah, it's a 5.0 APV. Now, with ginger beer, I've heard in some places like in the, I don't know, Middle Eastern world, they drink ginger beer. Okay. Now, if they're really religious, they're not going to drink alcohol. I thought, I thought I would figure that all the Irish people would be the ones drinking the ginger beer because that's why they're all gingers. <laughs> but... There's some tricks to the trade when you get ginger beer or something like, okay, with ginger beer, I've heard this recipe, you get the ginger beer, you pour it in the glass, and you pour like a shot of vodka or something in the glass, you get that alcohol content in there. Now, where I'm from before, I, in my 20s, I came across this mixed, mixed drink called the boiler maker. Now, yeah. Now, to me, a boiler maker, this is from my 20s. This is what I know. And you're supposed to combine them, right? That's uh, like, that's what whatever told. beer you want to have, like say, okay, a Miller or a Milwaukee's Best Ice Beer, okay. Now, if I was having a boiler maker, I would have Milwaukee's Best Ice Beer. I would have a shot of something, which for me would be vodka, okay. Depending on the shot glass and the beer mug, it, there's two versions to this that I know of. You drop the shine glass into the mug and then you drink the whole thing. You guzzle it down. Or, if it doesn't fit, you get the shine glass and pour the contents of the shine glass into the beer mug. Then you drink that. That's what you kind of do with the ginger beer. It's kind of like a boiler maker in a way. Well, I hear online, I remember we were, look, we were looking this up online about boiler makers. And I hear that the consensus is that you can go either way of, you can either mix the liquor and the beer, or you can just take the shot. Take them separate, but quick. Yeah, like like a one-two. Okay, and so three per things. Yeah. Personally, I've tried doing the mixing, and like trying to mix it, like it just makes it just makes the whole thing taste like horrible. Well, that's the thing. When I was growing up, we didn't have the internet, so we were just going by word of mouth. Well, like, things are different these maybe, days. Maybe, but, but at the same time, you were also with a bartender. Maybe they knew what to mix that would not make it taste like garbage. Well, a lot of it depended I mean, on the individual ordering the stuff, too. I mean, the bar contender could recommend anything all day long that they want. Well, of course. But it's up to the individual that's going to be drinking it, because that's up to them. But <laughs> Of course. But if you're like, oh, man, like, well, if, <coughs> if you're a person who's, like, trying to, like, have some wits about you, <coughs> you figure you ask a bartender, like, what would be a good combination? Because they would know better than you. Yeah, probably. and that also depends on the bartender. It's literally their job. Yeah, but if you got somebody that's just out of school, they're going to know the book stuff. They're not going to actually have the experience. Now, me, on the other hand, I have got nothing against anybody that's just been to school in bartending school. Fine. More power to you. But Be Best Tom Cruise movie. Cocktail. Cocktail! But, you know, if you go to school for bartending and then get out and then get, like, say... Five years experience or more hey i'm gonna enjoy it and you know what hey well, he's gonna have not only textbook knowledge but he's gonna actually have hands-on knowledge or she yeah well yeah either way but not like, the flavor it has is very intense yeah it has this real i, I don't i don't want to say sour because it's not necessarily like sour, sour, but it's like... Slightly bitter. I don't, I don't even know if bitter is the word. It's just... Sweet it's sweet. Tart. Yeah, it's like very tarty, like sweet. But like very... like, It's like... It's a little too much, but not like completely over the line. To where you just don't want to drink it at all. Oh, over the hill? 
Yeah, like or over the, the top. That's what the the that's what I'm not against the ginger beers like that. The, yeah. the, those those that ginger beer, whatever it is, it's like so tart and sweet and stuff that you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> This is too much. It is. And like, yeah, so it's like, this is a very narrow taste, but it's also very strong. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, I hate to say it, but I'm giving this one a two. Damn, a two? Yeah, a two. You're number two. Hey, you're number one with a two. <laughs> Let the record show that I am flipping for this. Uh, I hate to see what he's flipping it for. It's for one point, a certain number, uh, tails for another point, or another number. Well, mine's going to be higher than yours. No. I don't think it's that bad. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's all right. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Once I finish off this six-pack, that's going to be the end of that. I'll tell you that right now. That's just how I feel. But that's just me. So, like, oh, if you got anything else, anything, any last words to add to this? You really gave this a two? Yep, I'm giving it a two, and I'm sticking by it. A two. Wait, let me ask you, like, what's what else has been rated two? This is it. This is the only one that's been rated two. What do White Claws get? Zero? They, I think they got four. Let me see. No way. I think so. That's absurd. A one. A White Claw got a one. I was going to say. I was going to say. I forgot. White Claw was number one at a one. Yeah. <laughs> So, at least I'm keeping in line <laughs> with my own <laughs> standards, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think this is a lot better than White Claw. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I hate White Claws. Yeah. I hate White Claws, too. Yeah, I had two cans. I drank one. He drank the other one, so he knows what it's about. Well, yeah, because oh. I just figured, you know, just to get rid of it. Yeah. Because otherwise, it was just going to sit there forever, and I'm just like, why not? Yeah. Let's, let's just get it out of the way. Yeah. Well... No. Anyways, like I've always said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. I'll see you next time on the next DC's Beer Reviews. Super profundo on the early eve of your day. Don't drink drugs. And now it's time to watch Strike again. <laughs> All right, peace out, man.